Hey guys, this is Chaos War Preliminaries for November 2015. I'm just going to do an introduction, talk about uh, Chaos War and the and the server and and the team that I'm playing with right now a little bit and then um, and then meet you up with with a conclusion just because you know this is what I do usually when I'm losing my voice and and I'm behind on on videos um, so to get through this a little bit faster in this case is actually both um, not feeling great and uh, and also I have the finals video to do so I would like to do a full commentary of the finals so I'm just gonna save my voice a little bit here um, so just getting into things with War Tune 11, um, these guys, the strongest team you'll see is is with Euphoric in it. And so each server in, in Chaos War, generally the top players will will team together. They most of them know better by now that they need to t team their top players together in in order to to do well and to take out other top teams. For our server, that's Robin Midori myself and and shock and uh it's a very fun team to pvp with uh you know robin and i generally split up for most things even pvp things like titan war uh because it's higher utility and we have our own groups that we had been you know doing dailies with for a long time but the fact that robin and i split up is a very good example of why top players should play with with with, with others and not necessarily always group together um you know most things you know TOK Nightmare and, and, you know, MPs and whatever, Robin and I can do without each other. We don't need the support of another 4 million BR player in order to beat them. And so by splitting up um, our groups and not always, you know, you know, joining up together just to be with the best, um, we actually, uh, it's a higher utility for our guild because we have, our, you know, other players on our teams that aren't quite as strong but who get really big rewards and are able to build up their tunes very nicely because of it and uh, and so so that's very nice uh, actually but um, in this one case it's actually just very important for Robin and I to be together uh, so that you know we have a strong team that can that can beat up some of these top players together and uh, the fact that uh, both of our spouses are very strong as well um, is great Midori and Shock both hold up hold up quite well against these 4 million plus BR teams um, even though you know maybe Shock is over 3 million 3.5 million BR now Midori is maybe getting close but they're not you know you know by no means are whales they're you know they've played a long time they build up their tunes very nicely both of them are doing pretty well on Holy Forge and things like that um, and they have some good sylph options but they don't have you know a merge sylph they don't have you, you know your big red sylphs or anything like that so here we have two wind, sylph, wind sylphs, uh, Shock and Robin, myself and Midori with, with Dark on. Later on, and really through the finals and, and the other three fights of this preliminaries, I'll have my Poseidon on. You'll see the Poseidon on Panda right now, but I switch it over as my main sylph, and I think that was a very good choice. Um, and, and for sure, water was, was a, a better choice in, in, in this case. Um, a lot of people do protect against Dark, um, but at least for now, Dark is fine. Midori, I think, uses Dark maybe for survival reasons, but at any given time, she could have Dark, Water, or Wind, um, or even Fire. I don't think she ever used Fire in this, but uh, she does have a Fire Self that she uses sometimes. So... Um, so there's there's the team. As far as the server goes, we recently had a server merge with Kabam 40, 68, and 70. So we have some new faces in the mix. Um, so overall, we're the the server's much more deep, a lot more high BR players, a lot more people over 3 million BR, which is which is very nice. Um, so I think organizationally it might have been a little bit weird throughout prelims and finals, but uh, th those are things that we can always adjust for in the future and I think as far as you know just first showing for us being together This ends up being great. So I hope you guys enjoyed enjoy this gameplay and I'll meet up with you in the at the conclusion
so things are wrapping up here. Last fight against Asher, both of our parties got split up. So, you know, somebody in our party dies and then the party splits up because of that. I don't know why Wartoon does that. I don't know why they just can't keep the whole whole party together. Um, it's not like those people die, they just um, they just split off for some reason. Uh, so here, you know, of course I want to kill these guys, but I don't have a really high power setup. Actually, really, Robin is the one who's set up to, to really kill people off. And then for me, I'm a big time support and have some nice water water AoEs, but I don't have a Sylph yet. So there's really nothing I can do about finishing this off quickly. Um, I have some decent survival, though, and... Uh, so I'm able to make it through Asher's uh, water self attacks all right, um, but but yeah. So so the other players do come into the fold soon, but they're off fighting other people. Probably some people that are part of Asher's party. At some point in time between the beginning of this fight and the end of it, uh, or at least uh, when when the timer is finally done uh, for for the whole battle. Um, our server gets ahead of them in in number of players and so a uh, really nice job to, to the rest of the people on my server who are who are killing off other people and I'm just sort of here tied up with one of the one of the top players here shock into sylph mode was hoping Robin would come in with a sylph mode in, on her belt but she isn't um, so nothing we can really do there but but Robin is really the high power player who's dealing the most damage I'm like a huge support role and then you know some water AoEs which deal a lot but are not you know the, the end all and be all so we ranked second in Chaos War which was really really surprising I thought we would get first because we went undefeated we were the only server that went 4-0 but Kong7 ended up playing placing ahead of us. That's because they got more points, so they must have killed off some of the other servers before us very quickly, and then because we went to timer together and were very close in number of players or something like that, uh, we didn't get enough points uh, from beating them uh, to to get ahead of them in points, which is very surprising, but a very nice job to them. So anyway, that's about it, and I'll see you guys at finals. Take care, and have a very good day.